Today, we're going on a full-fledged demo of the RepairDesk Tickets module. This demonstration will show you how to run a repair store like a fine-tuned machine and how RepairDesk stands out from the competition. To access the Tickets module, navigate to Repairs and click Manage Tickets. A technician or operations manager can see a list of open or rush jobs without navigating to another page. Please click the video link in the comment section to learn more about the rush job feature. The default view displays repaired tickets based on a due date instead of the creation date. It highlights overdue tickets with a red background to the entire row so a manager or technician can easily see that the ticket is overdue and immediate action is required. Once the due date has been updated, it automatically refreshes to reflect new data. The customer's primary contact number is displayed beneath their name and links to the SMS module. If you want to send a follow-up SMS, click on the displayed number, enter a custom message, or select a canned response. You can also reassign individual tasks in a repaired ticket to different technicians or choose which columns to display from the settings icon. You can also create a filter view for different store operations. If you want to create a filter for all repair jobs waiting for special parts, select waiting for parts under ticket status. Now click on the save filter, enter the view name waiting for parts, choose the icon, and hit save. We'll now talk about how to update an existing repair ticket. From the ticket listing page, click on the ticket number to view all the information related to the repair ticket. You'll see customer details on the right hand side. Click view more for full details, including the complete purchase history. Select the three dots and choose Edit Customer if you need to update specific information. A pop-up will appear to allow for customer detail updates. On the left side, there is a tab that displays device information for the repair, including the IMEI or serial number. If a customer has dropped multiple devices, such as an iPad Air 7, and an iPhone 13. Each device will be shown separately in its own tab. Once you click on the device name, in this case, iPhone 13, it will show complete information on what needs to be done. You can view repair charges, ticket status, technician name, ticket pickup or due date, task type, and repair type. You can also see other details captured by the front desk, such as screen replacement under device issues while creating a repair ticket. Please click the video link in the comment section to learn more about creating a new repair ticket from the point of sale. Device specific details are displayed on the right side under asset information. It displays the device's IMEI or serial number warranty information, and passcode. If you are working on an Android device, you can also view the pattern lock by clicking on the input field that displays the password, and then selecting the passcode. Under physical location, you will find information about the iPhone 13's card placement. Once the device is repaired, the technician can update its status to the green bin. You can also reassign individual tasks in the repair ticket to different technicians. For example, if Shane is assigned an iPhone 13 screen replacement but is unavailable and the customer needs it done urgently, you can mark it as a rush job. Reassign it to your technician, John, and update the due date and time. John can start immediately and update the repair status 
to something like in progress. And the system will notify the customer via SMS and email. John can also start a repair timer by selecting start clock so you can track how much time was spent on the repair. While working on the repair, if the technician sees that the battery needs to be replaced, they can add it as a new asset issue by clicking the plus icon. After selecting the additional service, such as battery replacement and saving, the service is added instantly to the repair ticket. If a technician used a repair part to complete the repair, the technician can easily add it by selecting the plus icon in the attached parts section. Users can search for the required parts in the inventory using either the part name or SKU. If the parts are available, such as iPhone 13 LCD screen, they can be attached to the ticket. The system will automatically deduct the stock and associate the parts cost with the repair, enabling you to track profits effectively. If the iPhone 13 battery is not available in the system, the user can either add it as a new part or place a special part order. The special part order option is typically used when a customer brings an unusual phone and you want to add a one-off item while keeping track of what was queued, ordered, or received. To add a new part in RepairDesk, click the Add Part button, then select Special Part and complete the form. You will also see a list of integrated vendor logos. If the part is from Mobile Centrix, simply copy the iPhone 13 battery SKU from the Mobile Centrix website and paste it into the SKU field. This will automatically populate all the information and you can click on save. If a customer requests to add tempered glass and a lightning USB cable, a technician can add this to the bill by clicking on the plus button under inventory items. Users can search for the items they need in the inventory by using either the item name or SKU. If the item is available, such as a lightning USB cable, the user can click Add to Cart to include it in the bill. Technicians can also view or add diagnostic notes based on inspection findings. For example, if the battery needs to be replaced, and update additional settings. Please note that additional fields are custom fields for logging specific details per your requirements. Technicians can also update free repair conditions and upload free or post repair images. If you need to send a customer estimate for approval, click Add New and then Estimate. Choose the line items and select Create Estimate. This changes the ticket status to Pending Quote Approval, preventing technicians from altering details until the customer approves the estimate. Once the estimate is approved, the ticket will return to open status and technicians can resume working on the repair. Scrolling down reveals further sections, such as the ticket log, which shows a history of all ticket actions, including creation, updates, and customer communications. Private notes, which are used for internal notes. For example, if a technician needs the store manager's help, here they can choose a user, select a communication channel, and update the subject. After adding the update, the system sends a notification to the manager based on the selected channel. Diagnostic Notes Additional diagnostic notes can be added here, email or SMS, for engaging the customer or sending updates. You can choose canned responses. For emails, you can add attachments such as preconditioned images. 
attachments, which are used to upload reference documents. Technical Repair Report Technicians can log technical notes here for internal reference. Call Logs If using Phone Pro, powered by 3CX, you can track calls with the customer directly here. When technicians complete the job, they can stop the repair timer or manually add job time and update the ticket status, such as repaired. This will trigger an email and SMS to the customer. The system categorizes all documents, such as estimates, special orders, and invoices into separate sections on the right-hand side so it is easier to view information. You can customize the layout on the right side using the drag and drop feature. Also, if English is not your primary language, you can use the language editor module in the settings to edit the translation. You can check the billing details at any time. For example, if you are offering a 20% discount on the Lightning USB cable, follow these steps to apply the discount. Click on the name of the item, such as the Lightning USB cable, in the billing section. Then, select the discount field and enter the 20% discount from the pop-up to update the total bill. You can repeat these steps to modify the tax class or add a special note as needed. Once the customer arrives, click checkout from the ticket screen to bring the ticket into the POS system. Then, click checkout again to create an invoice and collect payment. This concludes our guide on managing repair tickets in RepairDesk. We hope you found this video useful. For further details, visit our knowledge base. And if you have any questions, email us at support at Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day.